This is Fox 5 News, the most powerful name in local news. Now a new machine measures what little boys and girls are made of. Are they made of snakes and snails or sugar and spice? But this machine is looking for body fat. Here's Fox 5's Dr. Sapna Parikh. You'd probably be crying too if you just entered the world and someone tried to put you in this. This is a new medical device called the Peapod. It measures total body fat in babies. We're trying to understand what normal percent body fat is in infants because this is information that is not out there. Dr. Dimpna Gallagher is a specialist in obesity, and Dr. Charles Paley is a pediatrician specializing in newborns. Both are at St. Luke's Roosevelt Hospital in Manhattan. They're using the Peapod in a new study to see if knowing the total body fat at birth can help to prevent obesity later in life. The question uh, that we are raising is whether there uh, is some intervention that's uh, possible uh, during pregnancy or during uh, infancy. The Peapod works by measuring the amount of air the baby displaces. That measurement is used to calculate the total body fat. So this is an incubator. It's very warm, so it's comfortable for an undressed baby. And she's going to go in there for about two minutes. The process is painless. Baby Akila doesn't seem to mind whatsoever. And we have a window so we can uh, watch her while she's in there. Gail and Lamar are her new parents. They know that childhood obesity is a growing problem and say they're happy to have Akila be a part of the study. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't hurt her. <laughs> But I kind of figure, you know, no one ever talks about babies or whether there's a way to find out whether a child is going to be obese. So I just kind of thought it would be a good way to see maybe we can help. The study includes healthy babies of all ethnicities. Dr. Gallagher says the preliminary results show that girls and Hispanic babies have higher percentages of body fat. But it's too soon to say what that really means. If the funding allows, the researchers hope to follow these babies over time. I'm Dr. Sapna Parikh, Fox 5 News. Thank you, Sapna. And we've all heard about a sweet.